Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing good. So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can use ClickFunnels uh, Funnel Mover, which is CF Funnel Mover, and how to add domain and how easily you can convert your funnel uh, version 1 to ClickFunnels version 2. Okay, so let me share my screen quickly and then let's see how these are going to be done. So as you can see on my screen that this particular funnel is for CF Funnel Mover, where this is actually made by ClickFunnels of uh, ClickFunnels version one. Now this is a package that you can still get, and then this funnel we can easily clone into, um, you know, means ClickFunnels version two within couple of seconds right so first thing first what we need to do is we need to install this extension cf funnel mover from chrome web store that you can easily get over here you can just go to the google and cf funnel mover If you search with this, then you will get the very first link to install the software into your browser. So it will show over here, right? Now I have already installed and that is why it is over here. So this is the live version of the software only. And now uh, if you are owner of this funnel, so obviously you will be getting this in your uh, ClickFunnels editor, but if you're not owner of this, so obviously how will you copy this into, you know, like your own uh, funnel editor, right? So for that, we already have a software as the easy CF page cloner, but this particular feature where, you know, means you can clone any funnel one, like funnel version one to version two, uh, that is also in the process of building and hopefully it will come very soon. Uh, for now, you can either use your own funnel to move from your ClickFunnels version one to version two account, or you can use this software, uh, which I can easily now refresh this page and it will say that I can copy. So either I can click on here to copy this, or I can click on this button to copy the funnel. Now it is saying that funnel page has been copied. So what I need to do is I need to go to the editor of any of my funnel so that uh, you know i can paste it in the editor only because uh, cf funnel mover only works right now from editor to editor uh, you know means copy and paste so it doesn't copy directly from a funnel page like this so i can just go over here and or any other page which has a small thing I'm directly clicking on edit. So you can be on this editor page anytime that you want, and then you can use the software to paste it in editor. Okay. Once you will do that, so it will copy and paste each and every content that you have on that funnel. So this is already uh, live and the software is already being used uh, by the, by a lot of users that you can get now uh how you this is now on version one right so we need to convert it to the version two click funnels version two right so there um to add uh the copied content in the you know means editor we need to do few stuff first so what are those uh, let me show you quickly so i can choose any actually So I'm just creating a basic uh, opt-in page because ultimatum that will be changed with the content that I'm going to move from my version one to version two, right? Now, all these things are here and I have this funnel content, which I want to move from ClickFunnels version one to version two, right? So very first thing, what we need to do is we need to log in. If you already have an account, that is awesome. If not, then you can uh purchase one of this plan then you will get the account 
Now, once you are doing so, um, like once I'm logged in, the very first thing what you need to do is you need to click on manage accounts where you need to add your domains, okay? Without adding your domain, uh, the software won't work. So first of all, um, there are two plans that I wanna give you a quick overview. The 397 uh, starter one, that will give you only option to add your own domain and you can only copy and paste through that domain. But for the unlimited plan, there is no limit obviously, you can add as many as domain you want. That means as many as subdomains you have or you know means accounts that you have in ClickFunnels version one, you can add all of them over here and then you can use any of those uh, accounts to move your funnel version one to version two. So first thing I need to add my current domain. So to do that, if you guys already know about it, that where from you will get it, then you know that this is your subdomain that you can just copy this part or else if you don't know that where to check this, then you can do one thing. You can visit your account settings. Once you will visit your account settings. So from on that particular page under account details only, you will see this option click funnel subdomain. So if you click on that, you will get to see your subdomain, which is the exact same value that you can see over here, right? So what you need to do, you need to copy this value. You need to come over here and you need to add that under the approved domains. Now, once you are done with it, you can now use your funnel mover account to move your, uh, you know, means funnels from version one to version two. Now, how you can do that for that, what you need to do is you need to go back to your version one editor just refresh the page once to make sure that extension has loaded all the scripts that is required. After that, you can click on this copy button. Once the data is copied, you will see this pop up. Now, once it is copied, you can go back to uh, the version two where you need to refresh, uh, refresh the page once uh, on your editor mode. And now once that page is loaded, Fully, you can see it is still loading. So once this, once this page is loaded, you just have to click on paste. And it is saying that successfully pasted, reloading the page to see the changes. Now automatically the extension will reload the page for you to show you the exact look and feel that we were having in that other funnel. Now, yes, so few elements are not here present in version two of ClickFunnels yet. So what, what I'm talking about is the element as if you see that if this is a settings, then from there I can uh, see a couple of settings that I already have added. But if I want to add a new section in here, there uh, you see if I'm taking full width and then adding a new row, with uh, these many column types so i'm just selecting three columns now add element when i'm doing add elements you see on so many elements are available already in version one right but in version two these many uh, elements are not available yet like suppose progress bar this is not available yet uh, in click funnels version two like suppose i'm adding a three columns only as I have selected. Now here you see um, all these things have been added, but progress bar is not there. So like that, few elements are not present in version two of ClickFunnel yet, but which is present in version one of ClickFunnel. Due to that, uh, you might will see some, you know, I mean, some sections are showing you that uh, like this, that blueprint pricing is not available or pricing view one is not available, right? So don't get scared. Those are the thing where this pricing thing is on version one, but that is not present in version two yet. So over here, obviously this pricing, that is why it is not showing in the version two design or the content. But as you are only the creator or at least 
few of these elements you can now easily create by your own and you don't have to spend a, like you know miss a lot of time to convert each and everything from there to here right now i can view this um, and we can get to see that how it's actually working or how it looks like so it is the exact look and feel that we are having over there a uh, few elements again few elements are not there present in many uh, click funnels version 2 that is why you might will see that those sections are not showing up but those are very minimal so you can easily add them whenever you want because you don't now uh, have to spend the full you know means couple of hours to build each and every elements and exact way that the version one is having right and if you are only the owner of the editor i mean uh, the content then you already know which are the elements that are missing in version two that you can easily convert into different elements from version two only if you want to add those uh, content right but make sure uh, before you are copying or pasting you have to go to the manage accounts and you have to add your domain and if you have uh, you know the basic plan then obviously you will be able to add only one domain so make sure that you are not you know means trying to add a wrong domain before even using the software because then you know you won't be able to delete that now i'm able to delete it because i'm on the unlimited plan as you can see my plan level over here right so if you're on if you are not on unlimited plan then once you have added this domain it will be over there only and if you want to make any changes then you have to contact the admin which is the development team like me or tier 5 and they only can uh, you know means change this and update this but again we'll be having the idea that if you already have used that domain or not so just make sure that you are not adding any wrong domain over here and then uh, you know means letting us know that it is not working for you and as i have shown you how you can easily get it the subdomain of your account is very easy go to the account settings on this account details page click on this click file subdomain and get your domain 